Uh, sana tayo nagtumigil, no? So, siguro... So, we, we stopped here, right? Um, so, this is... So, in your exam, you're going to... You're going to print out... You're going to print out a copy of this. Uh, so, you will be able to know what will be the what will be the uh, codon specific to a amino acid so for example if i give you a uh, so if i uh, for example um, give you a a uh, amino acid for example the the code will be so the the peptide will be alanine and valine so you should be able to guess what what the uh, specific uh, sequences are possible so the there are more than one possible answer so you can so in the exam i might ask you to type to type the answer so it will be a short answer so make sure that your your uh, spelling will not be wrong okay so i might ask you to type the uh, possible answers because there is more than one code for a specific uh, amino acid okay okay so I'm going to maximize this. Okay. So the 64 codons are possible from the triplet combination of A, G, C, and U. And the codons are written from the 5 prime end to the three prime end of the mRNA, uh, mRNA molecule. So remember to remember to follow the 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 direction. Okay. So from the five prime end to the three prime end. So these are stop signals. Okay? So, isipin mo na lang nasa boat. Ayaw nyo umuga. Umuga yung boat. So, sasabihin nyo, wa, wag uga. So, maalala nyo na yung stop stop signals. And then, the the start codon will be AUG. So, this will start. It will, it will, uh, it's specific for methionine. Okay? So, whether or not uh, it is the start or in the middle, it will code for methionine. What will happen at the end? Uh, sometimes the methionine at the start will be detached. So whether or not it's in the middle or at the start, it will code for methionine. Okay? So yun nga lang, pag nasa end siya ng peptide, after the process, the methionine might be detached. Okay, so this is the tRNA, what it looks like. So it contains 70 to 90 uh, uh, nucleotides. So you have an acceptor stem here. So specific to the amino acid. Okay, so para siyang grab, siya yung magdadala ng, siya yung taxi na magdadala ng amino acid mismo dun sa uh, factory. Okay. So, yung factory, kailangan niya ng serine. So, dadali ng grab itong serine doon sa factory. So, what you have is the anticodon. So, doon sa factory, nakalagay UCA. So, itong ano, may code siya na AGU. Siya yung mismo magkakode sa serine. So, it's called the, doon sa, doon sa tRNA, you call that an anticodon. Okay. So, kung ano yung mga bases na mag-prepare dun sa codon, yun yung nasa anti-codon. 
So it's a sequence of three nucleotides at the bottom of the tRNA, which is complementary to the three bases in the mRNA. It can be uh, and it can identify the needed uh, amino acid. Sorry. Okay, so remember you have the messenger RNA. Now this is the tRNA. Put me a little. Okay, so what happens is in the in the uh, DNA, so the DNA opens up, and then you form the messenger RNA. So once the messenger RNA is formed in the nucleus, it goes out. So this is the mRNA that's coded from the DNA. Okay, so again, uh, the process of uh, um, transcription happens inside the inside the nucleus with the DNA and the mRNA so the messenger RNA goes out through the nuclear membrane so what happens is it um, so now you have the messenger RNA what you have is will be the ribosomes so this will help in the process of creating the uh, uh, the protein, okay? Okay, so why do merong hindi ba block sa screen eh? Wait. Okay, so the mRNA, so the codon is UCA, the anticodon will be uh, AGU. So this calls for serine. So this is our, yung mga codons mo, di ba, tagtatatlo yan. So pagpasok nung isa, halimbawa adenine yan, di ba, specific for adenine. They kakabit na dun sa chain. Susunod ay serine. So serine is, uh, yan. Ah, uh, leucine. Leucine yan. No? So, AUA. So, yung anticodon niya is ACU. So, siya yung susunod. Tapos, and then the next one. So, nakikita niya yung sunod-sunod na pagkagawa ng peptide. So, through the messenger RNA, specific to the amino acid, kahabit ng kahabit sila hanggang mag mabubuo yung uh, protein mo. Okay? So once na na-deliver nila yung yung mga kailangan na amino acid, aalis na sila, mag sila ng bagong uh, amino acid. Okay? So yun yung process ng translation. Okay, so the messenger RNA attaches to the smaller unit of the ribosome and the tRNA uh, brings specific amino acids to the messenger RNA. So the peptide bond uh, formed between the amino acids and the other and the end of the growing peptide chain. Okay, so haba ng haba yan dahil yun nga, uh, dun sa code mo, sa codon mo, sunod-sunod yung pagkakabit dun sa um, amino acids na kailangan sa protein. So what the ribosome does, it moves along the messenger RNA until the end of the codon. So yun yung translocation. So once na mag-reach dun sa stop codon, yung UAA or UGA, tapos UG, uh, ano yun, huwag uga, oh, UAG. Okay, so tandaan niyo yung tatlo. So once it reaches that, it will stop. So the polypeptide uh, chain is released from the ribosome and becomes an active uh, protein. 
So pwede magkasabay-sabay sila lahat. So you call that uh, you call that um uh may mga polysomes so they translate the, the same strand of the messenger RNA at the same time to produce several peptide chains. So the same messenger RNA molecule so there can be several ribosomes that uh, that attach itself to the messenger RNA so you have proteins that are simultaneously being uh, generated. So again, once the ribosome encounters these uh, codons, so ito yung mga, yung stop, kasi wala siyang amino acid, so UAA, uh, UGA, and UAG, it will, uh, an enzyme will release the complete polypeptide chain to the, from the ribosome. Any questions so far? Any questions so far? Hello? None po. Okay. So eventually this uh, peptide will form the active protein. So there are uh, three stages in translation. So the first one, uh, this begins with the it begins with the mRNA uh, binding to the ribosome. So yun mag bind yung um, ribosomes dito sa messenger RNA. So this is initiation. So the first one is um, carries methionine, so in the start. And then the next process uh, is elongation. So the next one, so pagkatapos ng UA, uh, AUG, so sunod is UAC. So hakabit na naman yung bagong uh, mRNA, uh, sorry, tRNA with the next one that codes for this. So yung codon and anticodon. So the elongation proceeds as the next tRNA delivers the next amino acid and a peptide bond forms between the two amino acids. So we'll form the dipeptide. So this continues on. Uh, so it will um, construct the needed protein. So the termination occurs until the stop codon. So once na magreach sa UAA, UAG, or UA, UGA, it will stop. So um, sometimes the methionine is not needed; it will be detached. Kaya nga uh, minsan yung sa start codon hindi siya um, ambiguous kung kasama yung methionine or not. Pero in the middle, of course, it will it it is part of the polypeptide chain. Pero kung end siya nung, poly, nung peptide, uh, pwede siyang ma-detach. Okay, so this is what happens when um, so your DNA uh, codes for everything. So the proteins, um, dapat tama yung protein na yan, dapat tama yung amino acid or else uh, magkakaroon ng problema sa katawan. Okay? So like, for example, kung wala kang, uh, if the enzyme for um, digesting milk is is not present in your DNA, so what will happen is you will have uh, lactose intolerant. So minor lang yun. What if yung mga major na sakit, like uh, yung minention natin dati, yung sickle cell anemia, so yung white blood cells mo, ah yung red blood cells mo, instead of the usual hemoglobin, meron kang missing mga amino acids, uh, it will cause your hemoglobin to deform. Okay, so yun. Uh, so that's an example of what will happen if there's mutation. So yung mga gatong mutation, pag, pag 
uh, kaya yung inbreeding eh delikado kasi yung mga mga mutation na yon na hindi dapat hindi dapat mag uh, kumbaga it in in uh, genetics it is called uh, recessive recessive genes dapat pero kung may inbreeding for example yung mga yung mga aso magkakapatid di ba kung may mga sakit yung mga may genetic uh, mutation na yung mga aso na yan tapos magkakapatid or ano magka-relate magka-relate related yung ano yung related yung mga tao uh, ma ma enhance yung ano yung genes na na for that for that mutation na gets niya ba kaya yung mga royal yung mga sakit na ano ba yun hemophilia ba yun uh, sa mga royal royal blood tawag nila kasi yung mga royals ayaw nilang i-share yung wealth nila gusto nila within the family kaya yung mga magpinsan pinag-aasawa nila so ang result noon yung mga mutation like this will 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 be will be enhanced okay so kaya nga ano eh kaya nga mas may mas diverse yung ano nyo uh, mas diverse yung yung uh, magiging sa family tree niyo mas mag, ma, mas less chances ng ma-enhance yung ano mutation dun sa DNA. So this is a heritable change in the DNA sequence. So it changes the sequence of amino acids, uh, structure and function. Okay, so what will happen is the enzyme cannot catalyze or sometimes in hemoglobin hindi siya nag-work. So what can be the source of this? So it doesn't happen ano all of a sudden na hindi porket na exposed kayo sa ano ay makakaroon ng mutation agad. So this takes uh, this, this takes several several generations, several years for mutation to occur, okay? So pwede yan sa virus nga, pwede magmutate yung DNA nyo. So yung pinanood niyo yung born legacy yung virus mismo uh, retrovirus na yun na apektuhan yung uh, DNA. Tapos itong chemical uh, mutagen, okay? So yung mga pagkakain ng mga uh, uh, burnt uh, burnt food. So pag mahilig kayo sa grilled food, possible ano yan, possible carcinogen. I'm not saying it will immediately cause cancer. I'm saying that Uh, prolonged exposure pag mahilig kayo mas mataas yung chances of uh, these mutagens to affect your DNA overexposure to sun o oh, yun nga ito x-ray kaya tayo bawal mag mag x-ray ng more than once a month kasi itong x-rays na to uh, it can cause uh, uh, mutation And also, there are some mutations that are random events. Pwede rin mangyari yun. So, ang pagmangyari, pag non-reproductive cells yung nag-alter DNA, so this will be limited to the cell and its daughter cells. So, what will result is cancer. So, yan. Um, so, kaya nga, importante yung pagkakain ng vegetables. So, they're antioxidants. So, mahilig ka dito dapat sa vitamin C, sa pagka-take ng pagka-take ng um, uh, yung mga mga healthy food. Nag-help yan na maka-counter yung, yung, yung cancer production. Okay? So, it will help but it will not entirely stop. Okay, so wag kayong mag-rely kung may cancer, may stage cancer, uh, is a stage, certain stage kayo. Um, wag kayong mag, uh, tawag dito, wag kayong mag, mag-rely dun sa pagkakain ng mga food na yun. Okay, so it will help but it will not stop. So if you have a genetic, if you already have a uh, genetic, disposition, kumbaga may family kayo na prone sa cancer, may namatay na sa inyo sa, sa mga tito nyo 
tita nyo na may namatay sa cancer. So dapat kayo nagte-test na kayo for for that. At at an early stage kasi ma, ma, madaling ma-cure ang cancer. So yun yung importante, ma, maagapan. Yung yung hindi na ma-cure kasi pag late late stage na kumalat na. Ang problem naman kasi sa cancer, di mo malalaman na na nasa advanced stage na unless na may symptoms. So kahit wala kayong symptoms, pag meron kayong alam na sa family niyo halimbawa breast cancer or something, magpa-check na kayo every alam mo, every 2 year or 5 years pag especially pag tumanda kayo, pag umabot na kayo ng 30s or 40s. It will uh, it can mean a lot. Okay? So hindi mo malalaman kung sa advanced stage ka unless na lalabas yung symptoms which is too late na. So kailangan parang may executive check up kayo every 5 years or every kung kano ka kayaman. So yon. So this will alter your DNA. So yung cell nyo mag mag ano yan. Ang makakalimutan niya kasi mag mag stop mag divide. So parang continuous sila yung mag divide siya na mag divide. So yan yung ano yan yung problema sa cancer. Okay, so German uh, germ cells, uh, these are reproductive cells like egg or sperm. So if the new DNA will contain the same default, it will pass to the next generation. Okay, so yun, papasa na sa next generation, yun yung genetic disease na iniwasan mo. Ito yung iniwasan mo na the, ano, mas diverse dapat yung uh, sexual reproduction na ano uh, yung yung partners kasi once na bes, uh, do, mag mag uh, dalawang dalawang partners ay eh, pareho may genetic disease na for a certain gene then may enhance yan sa family so delikado okay so this is an example of So uh, these are the types of mutation. So a type of mutation where um, the there's a replacement of one base in the coding of the DNA with another. So there's a different amino acid. So instead of the usual G, but a replacement of C. So iba iba na mag, mag, magiging uh, amino acid niyan. So, yan yung tinatawag na point point uh, substitution. So, still the the same pattern. Uh, what is happening is the one base will be replaced. So, that's the most common. Sometimes kasi uh, there are Okay, so sometimes there are cases kasi na nag-change nga yung ano mo, base mo, pero nagkataon na pareho pa rin yung amino acid. So walang problema. So frame shift, so one or more bases is added or deleted from the normal order of bases in the DNA. So all the triplets uh, shift over by one base. So there is a different sequence of amino acids. So yan yung tinatawag na frame shift uh, mutation. So totally different na yung ano niya. Yung pagka-order niya. So in the original ito yung sinasabi nating uh, sickle cell anemia.
Okay, uh, minute kung wala. Okay, so in sa original mo, meron kang C, T, and T. Tapos, yun nga. Sa mRNA, it will be GAA. So, sa point mutation mo, uh, mara-replace lang yung um, So, mara-replace yun lang yung thymine ng adenine. So, what will happen is your your mRNA instead of GAA will be GUA. So, instead of glucose, ah, sorry, instead of uh, uh, glutamine, you have uh, valine. So, that, that will be a different amino acid. So, this is what happens in hemoglobin. So, since nagpalit yung amino acid dun sa protein, iba yung shape ng, ano mo, ng hemoglobin mo. So, that, that is the that is the result of uh, uh, point mutation. Okay. So another example, dito sa, ano, sa pangalawang example, instead of uh, cytosine, you have adenine. So instead of uh, glutamine, you have a stop codon. So natigil yung, ano mo, natigil yung paggawa ng uh, protein mo. So because the protein is not there the the protein it depends on importance of protein it will it can die okay so yan So sa frame shift naman sa frame shift uh, mutation So there's a deletion um so magkakaroon ng ano para kang nag-delete ng isang ano so magmo-move parang sa Excel yan pag na-move na-delete mo isang cell na, na nag-shift yung cell so babago na yung lahat okay So a deletion mutation uh, so the, ano to pwedeng may, ano to catastrophic uh, consequences So yung loss ng G uh, it will change the whole thing So that's deletion Kabalik tara naman doon, insertion. So, instead of the usual pattern, dadagdag ka ng uh, another base. So, this will cause the uh, mutation also. So, it will change the amino acid sequence altogether. Okay, so this, uh, um, we're about to end. So, just three join na lang, same, same, uh, same link.